last week on the Glass Cannon Podcast. Perhaps we should rest? For about we should go hours. up the stairs. You want to go up the stairs? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're not resting. Just just to you check. Do you want to go into a new area? I just want to check. That's what I heard. We see you like sliding into this room and behind you, one of these drawings peels itself oh, no. off of the wall. It's a trap! Get out of there! Asta, huh? You're you're gonna run away with me. Absolutely. Okay. All so right. I'm gonna fully disengage. You're gonna get the hell out of there. Yeah. Alright, so who's got first watch? Zephyr does. Zephyr's got first the watch. Dog. Uh, we're gonna rest. Good night, everyone. Zephyr, while you're sleeping, you um hear Brother Ramius's voice. You see him standing in front of a casket. Something feels off. You've lived this moment. You know Brother Ramius wasn't the priest presiding over this funeral. But you keep hearing the priest's voice intermingle with Brother Ramius's voice. And then that voice is interrupted by a knocking sound. And then you realize it's coming from the coffin. Oh, something's trapped in here. It goes to open it. The lid bursts open, and bursting up and out of the casket is a person wearing a, a horrifying mask, and it just floats there in space above the casket for a moment before lunging at you. The adventure continues. Now. Cannon podcast. Sydney, when is your costume due back at the warehouse? You rented it at. <laughs> she rented it's fashion. It. Look it up. I toned it down because Skid did offer. He said, Ooh, nice corset. Would you also like a cape? <laughs> yeah, if you're going to put on a the cape, say, is cover yourself. I, <laughs> now you say corset or corset? Oh, I guess corset. Yeah. yeah. Corset. You drive a corset. <laughs> <laughs> I thought but, you listened to one in a device called a record. Uh, that's called a, true. <laughs> a stereo. <laughs> corset, I have a corset player. Uh, you, let's, let's do cape. We, Should I think, we see? Just yeah. with, and then I'll give it back. I told Skid I didn't want to ruin his magic. Oh, Halloween came early here. <laughs> This is like oh, the, spooky. It's like the now. fifth show where you've started just by making fun of the women's clothing. It's not the women's clothing. It's just uh, it's just me. <laughs> uh, it's Kate sometimes. Remember '70s librarian? That's true. Yeah, yeah. You, you do it uh, with alarming frequency. You and know, I've talked about Skid's cape uh, on numerous episodes. Honestly, this cape is really fire, and it's actually very nice and well made. So isn't it soft? Thank you. It's nice. Um, but Buggles needs the cape. Buggles needs the cape. Uh, Asta would never. But I will. Oh. <laughs> What happened? What happened? What happened? Something horrible just okay? happened to you. Cindy, you okay right? The static shock oh, uh, went through my headphone. Oh. That was crazy. I feel like I shocked my brain. It's probably because you're wearing a pound and a half of metal. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whalebone is a conductor. I don't know. If <laughs> I'm just say, I'm going to say this, and I have no regrets about being a little uncouth to you. Okay. I'm sorry that I get dressed up for the show. I was going to ask, man. I'm sorry that sorry. I try. Okay. Somebody cares. Do you like wearing silly stuff ever? <laughs> Matthew? <laughs> sure. <laughs> What's the silliest thing you've ever worn? Ever? Yeah. <laughs> ever. <laughs> what a weird question. Like Is in it... the past couple of years, okay. in normal hanging out. Not as a costume Like on what stage. we're doing here, yeah. Okay. Well, that limits it. Um, 
I don't know, fake mustache. Yeah. A fake mustache. You wore a top fake mustache over your real mustache. Regular yeah. So that's what made it, situation. That's what made it weird. <laughs> was that would be fun if you like it rip it off and you have the real mustache. Yeah, it wasn't very. It wasn't very silly. Who the hell are you? <laughs> silly in context. Was it bigger or smaller? It's roughly the same size. Oh, that's good. Uh, what about you, Joe? You're pretty much a t-shirt and jorts kind of guy. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I mow my lawn. <laughs> T-shirt and George. Wave to the neighbors. Morning, Bill. Nice George, Brian. <laughs> are, they, are, they, are they true George or are they cutoffs? Uh, uh, they're cutoffs. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making short money. Jorts are in fashion again now. They're expensive. I don't have yeah. that Brooklyn yeah. short money. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever do the cutoff uh, shirt? You or Beer still do the cutoff shirt. I remember all our softball shirts. You love cutting the muscle off the, the muscle tanks? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah I, cu I cut, cut off old shirts for I make them more couch shirts, basically. Yeah, you like a tank. I don't like a sleeve when I'm exercising in the heat. It bothers me. I don't like a man in Even a tank a short top. sleeve. It makes me very uncomfortable. You didn't like a sleeve like when we were recording episodes of the podcast. Whew, man, it got hot in there. Yeah. yeah. You should at least shave your armpits. <laughs> I don't need to see all that. It's so weird. Like a pro wrestler. Yeah. Um, Skid, you're, you're, the cape is really, you're, you're, you're going with this. It's I here. I was just the first one to use, use it, and so it's proprietary at this point. Should we sell glass cannon capes? I'm going to be selling them on my own. Thank you very oh. much. <laughs> I don't mean to cut you all out, but uh, <laughs> I'm got a going to. copyright on capes. Get kind of opened the door, though. Get our lawyer yeah. on the phone. He brought in a cape. <laughs> I did actually because Nick Shelton gave me the cape, yeah. and I was just like, hey, a cape's a big hit. Everyone's talking about it. I didn't mention that it's with derision a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like, oh, you should be, uh, you should have an affiliate with them, Do have an affiliate relationship with them. You can sell the cape. He's just like, I make like $1,000 a month doing affiliate stuff. And I was just like, that's an interesting idea. So uh, people out there, if you want a cape, hold off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for until I figure this out. Until until I figure I out see how, how this works. all works. <laughs> Wait. So what isn't what? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what does being an affiliate entail? Does he such a well, wear so the cape? Well, so people are like, they no, see they him wear the his cape, link to go buy, and they're like, and I want his cape. And Skid's like, well, I have a link for you here, mm, yeah. and that yeah. link knows that that person was sent to buy the cape by Skid, so Skid gets a cut. No, no, I understand all that. I just want to know what Nick is doing because Nick is yeah, how's not Nick quite the $1, public dollars figure. Money you are. What is, he, is it affiliate links for drugs? <laughs> no. like, what is he selling? I no. mean, is, is wandering out of this cape until people ask him what it is and they <laughs> hands him a QR code? Like, I don't, I don't know. I do know he's giving a talk at Columbia, your alma mater. Ah, the country? Uh, in two, in, in a, no, in, in the six He's doing weeks. America next. If anyone wants to come, I don't oh. know what it's on. <laughs> it's on affiliate marketing. I Gotta trick like your that. friends into giving all your cape business to them. <laughs> so Skid Cape, Sydney corset, corset. I can wear corset, yeah. Joe Jorts, Jorts. Jorts. Cut Matthew off. Mustache. Mustache, Kate, Kate, funny glasses. Oh, but I you're not so. wearing them today. No, I don't wear them usually here. Sometimes I do. Kate's got great glasses, though. It's I true. Do. I, I thought it was it was nice that you admitted casually, like uh, passively, that they are funny glasses. They're funny. They are funny, but they're also not funny. They're very cool. They're, they're fashion glasses. Fashion. That's what it is. They're high fashion. 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 Oh, is that what that is? Fashion. Oh. Yes. Oh. Everyone here has some kind of assistive lens situation going on, right? Assistive lens? No. You wear contacts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, Perfect vision. Corrective oh. lens. I wear glasses, but I lost them, and I can't see to find them. <laughs> <laughs> It's a rough situation. So I, okay, Velma. All right, Kate. I seriously can't see these <laughs> Honestly. We're you both hairy. I get it. Honestly, <laughs> you don't make eye contact with us anyway. So what's the <laughs> True. Troy. Yes. Your costume is hat? My costume is hat. Uh, I guess, yeah. I've just always worn hats. You know what I like? Uh, I like a headband now and then. What? I don't mind what? a headband. I get that. I've never. Just thinking about weird stuff, a headband. Prove you know? it. Wear it next time. I've never seen you in a headband. No, I haven't worn one in a long time, but I went through a headband phase. You know what I did in college? It must have been my senior or junior year was, um, what are those fucking things called? They're like, not scarves, but they're- uh, Magical scarves. No, they're like the handkerchiefs that you could wear as a cap. Kind of like Rosie the Riveter. Does yeah. she have one of those? Bandana. Bandana. Thank you. Couldn't think of the word. I, I was, that was my jam. I had like seven or eight bandanas oh. and I'd wear a bandana. <laughs> 
was sorry, the I, I just, just was taking a break from baseball caps and I was way into bandanas. And I soul I had a soul patch too. Picturing oh, like wow. you walked around the campus of with Boston College with a bandana. With a bandana. Dude, and it was the nineties. It was a different time. It was a different time. <laughs> and you were. They wearing... must have been like, look at that guy from the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because in my experience walking around the campus of Boston College, everyone was in like a rugby shirt or or two polo shirts. Yeah, everyone. No, it's not not old Valley. Not they called me Mister Bandana. Mister Mr. Bandana. Bandana. Yep. That's what they call you to your face, I guess. I guess. Yeah. So bring it back. Yeah, I'll, maybe I will next week. So bandana. wait, is the bandana and the headband thing the same one and the same thing? No, it just led me to think. So about the headband thing is that like a like a John McEnroe sweat headband? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So not but, like a ro- not like a Rambo. <laughs> like no. Oh, however, hair headband. pushback. I'm hair thinking of Jim sent- McMahon headband. Right. Yeah. I'm thinking of uh, making a uh, glass cannon headband that we sell, sell just so people, we look out in the audience, we see like 50 headbands. I love a good can headband. We, can fun. you can you make it a headband and uh, sweat wrist thing? What do they call it? Like the- I, I wear the. Ooh, I, yeah. so so I, have, so you, I have wristbands and headbands for so you can tennis go, like, when I play if tennis. If you're a douchebag, yeah. you like just a wear uniform. one on this arm. <laughs> yeah. And you don't work out. You just, yeah. Should wear it on that one arm. Nice. No, I need them because I sweat profusely. Just show how big your uh, and I can wear them for the show too. We'll make it a thing. And I'll have you to need a body band. I, well, I'll just bring extra sets. Sweating you on need stage. A body you need a whole <laughs> body. Terry, <laughs> bring a, 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 a body band. A body band. It'll at least stop the sweat. Wear a body size. <laughs> Matthew, I like the idea of being on stage having to wear the sweatbands because the sweat is getting into your keyboard. Like you like have, that's you how need bad them. It's just yeah. dripping into your electronics. Your dice are all slipping out your hands. It's really hard to be me. I'm I, sorry. I agree. Did you ever uh, just be like, I'm taking it all off? And you just take a razor and just like, you know what? It'll grow back. Just it's go not to the town. hair that yes, makes it. That's fucking. Sp- what? I will do it live on it's stage not the for hair you. <laughs> no, this is, I'm switching topics here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just shave shame. it all off. Well, well, you and I can. You and I have talked about this actually because we both recently had the same surgery. Yes, we did. Yeah, <laughs> and it was. And you just left it. You didn't clean up the whole area. Oh, no, I mean, as soon as I could, as soon as I could stand, I cleaned up. I cleaned it everything. Took the up. whole thing off. Yeah, we had hernia surgery, and they they get they like. Why don't you just finish the job? They left you with like this weird <laughs> face on your abdomen. <laughs> <laughs> like, like oh, what am I going to do with all this? They, 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 yeah, they shave exactly what they need and no more. But then you start going. You're like, oh my gosh, I'll get rid of the pits. Oh, see you later, gorilla oh, yeah. salad. Then you go down to the legs. Shaving your arms. Yep. You uh, did not shave your arms. Your arms? Shaved no, I arms? didn't shave my arms. I have uh, shaved my legs, though, for Halloween once. For yeah. What? It's was a real the, pain uh, in the ass. What was the costume? Um, Swimmer? It was the, the Hedwig and the Angry Inch. I went as... Oh, you were Ah, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. cool. Type black dress. Did you have a Yitzhak? A what? <laughs> I tucked it between my legs. What did you ask? <laughs> 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 That's a oh, really was it a couple's costume. <laughs> uh, yeah, my bu- I think my buddy played Yitzhak. Yeah, I can't remember. No, he played Johnny, uh, the other character. There's like, there's like a rocker. Oh, Tommy, uh, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Nosis. Yeah, Tommy Nosis. That's what it was. It's a good costume. Senior college, and then I took off that costume and threw on a sweet bandana. <laughs> 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 and hit the quad. Yep. I'll try and track down a picture of me in drag with shiny legs. But uh, in the meantime, I, in, I'd like to shave you in public. <laughs> For Patreon well, members only. We can, yeah. uh, we can unpack why at a different time. But maybe we should move on. To oh, yeah. People topic. are going to have to pay to watch this. But either way, stay tuned. We're going to shave Matt <laughs> live on it. A horrible collection of ideas. <laughs> right after this break. We're back. Once again, I want to thank our sponsors. Couldn't do this without them. Demiplane, Foundry VTT, and Norse Foundry. Last week, we talked about the remastered character sheets for Demiplane. Let's talk about Foundry VTT. Oh, baby. I love it. Are you still like life changed by it? Life changed by it. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I've been meaning to talk to you about this, but we should oh. just do it on air. Yeah. Uh, I want to I wanna run something. I oh. want to run something in 2E. On Foundry, because I want to learn it better. Yeah. And I think the best way to learn it is you got to GM something. If you GM something, like even if it's just a, you know, a one shot or one over one thing, like 
you're going to learn so much in one GM session, I think, on Foundry that'll be way be better as a player as well. On. All right. It's not in the budget. I know. I knew yeah. you were going to say that. You have to run it off air uh, amongst your friends, not me. <laughs> okay. Uh, or if there's a private investor out there that would like to uh, pay for Joe running a one shot of something on Foundry, <laughs> uh, email me and I'll send you our prices. My, Actually, email me directly and I'll do it as an individual. Go. And we'll sell capes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll sell yeah. We need to go back <laughs> to our original like, contract. Joe and Skid's <laughs> shameless money. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Mind That's you, right. Most, of, most of the show I imagine is going to go something like this. <laughs> Why did this work? <laughs> what with Foundry, the flawless virtual tabletop? <laughs> it has nothing to do with the software. <laughs> you oh, encountering it's a user something new. Error. error. It is just amazing to me to think about what we did with Giant Slayer. How I'd be sitting there with an iPad and I would download all the encounters to the iPad and look at the iPad, but putting conditions on it. Like it, it was so much extra work, so much extra preparation, and then having to look up what does that power do? Putting into my spreadsheet just to be able to click on the monsters uh, and have everything come up for you to be able to condition them and it changes all the stats. It's just, it's been wonderful. So uh, if you're interested, go to the link in the description for this video or in the description of the podcast click on our foundry vtt link to let them know uh you're coming from us and sign up it's like the best 50 bucks you will ever spend yeah that's the other thing i love about a flat price boom done. bam yep pay once you're good pow <laughs> boom pow, pow. Your point. wham what do you guys want to do today i want to generate today. random numbers oh yeah. norse and boundary norse foundry for all your random number generating needs this one for example produces numbers from one to six. Oh, look at that what, did, what would you call that Skid, do we have the same Norse Still Foundry set? Still coming up with a name for this. Or did <laughs> you <laughs> steal my D6 of this set? Oh, we have, do we have this? We have this we what? Have, oh, wow. You have the same oh. one? I think we have the same is one. That, is that the America one? Yeah, the America one. Wait, That's I, I have that one too. What? What? I what wanted the, the most patriotic that? one. Never Wait. told me this was for me. <laughs> he told me this was for the Red Sox. <laughs> he told me this was for America. Wow, we just got like the leftover dives. <laughs> wow. It's like, can we got to get rid of these blue and white ones. Yeah. Everybody hates this country. <laughs> Apparently America doesn't sell well anymore. I have this pink one. Oh, that oh that's is, nice. That I like that pretty. one. I've got some blue and green. This was a Gen Con set? Pretty. Ooh, and we nice. have our own dice. We do. Yeah. Yep. Through Norse Foundry. You and can they're, buy them right now. They're gorgeous. Except we do not have them. Yet. Uh, they're for you. Uh, we right. sacrificed for, they're all for you, you guys. For all of you, America. Um, In other places. Let's talk about last <laughs> week. Let's talk about last week. Uh, classic uh, RPG goofing. Like, let's rest. Everybody cool with resting? We just want to walk up those stairs real quick. Let's and take then a peek. The other person walks up the stairs, not the one that originally suggested it after you all decided to rest. That person triggers an encounter. <laughs> and like, <laughs> It gets really bad. And then it's all pretty clear. Just get out of the room. And more you kept piling in like Keystone Cops. <laughs> and then you're very lucky that we got out of that situation. It was just so funny. It was, I, everyone was in agreement. We go to bed. Everyone was in agreement. And then Joe's like, what's going what on about hallway? These stairs? <laughs> we didn't even look up there. And I'm like, we're all like, we shouldn't go up there. It's a whole nother. We all said it's another encounter. Well, mm -hmm. let me bring, well, let me bring up another question, which is, um, was it fun? Yes. If Joe you swarm. Yes. <laughs> if I look up that set of stairs and there's a door, I'm going to be like, let's rest, right? And I was thinking we were resting in this room, not in the, I forgot about the nice swanky aristocratic bedroom. Sweet. The unused bedroom. The unused bedroom. So I'm like, with with no door there, I don't know what can just like come come down these stairs. And so I'm like, I want to take a peek and see if there's any kind of you know imminent danger. Um, is that like wildly overreacting because I can't think of an example of us ever getting like attacked in our sleep in any game I've played with Troy. Legacy of well, Legacy. Oh, I was going to say on the, Legacy. With Troy running. Yeah. Where like literally during a rest, we got interrupted in the middle of the night with a full blown attack encounter. Like he just doesn't seem to do it. You're metagaming me. You're metagaming. Yeah, you're metagaming. But also Troy, you were like, Tempting. I know, but it's metagaming to say, like, there's going to be an encounter in that room. We can't even go up there. But right? you're tempting fate where it's like, just go in a little bit and don't explore at all. It's like, well, who knows what we'll see in there? And we saw a, ca a cage that was, like, busted open. So Well, then it leads to more questions. Because yeah. then I was saying, in reality, it's not crazy. It's not crazy to be like, it's an open corridor. Let's take a peek down the corridor before we go and rest. Right. To me, that's not metagaming. No, I don't think so. Right. But to me, it's metagaming to walk up, see a room that seems empty and be like, okay, the room's empty for now. We're good. Like, 
realistically, I felt like Asta would walk a bit further in to actually see what's going on in the room. And then, yes, we an encounter was there, which is what we metagamed and assumed. Uh, yeah. But we got out of there, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're lucky we did. Uh, I think that, to, in my experience so far, two E hazards are pretty brutal. Traps are brutal. Yeah. This was a complex hazard, too. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, they're really hard to like, solve or beat or whatever and and they always seem to be a higher level than you in all in the games that we've been playing so far uh they're pretty intense they're pretty intense like troy mentioned he was like uh when you did the knowledge check he was like you could dispel it and this is actually something we have to talk about um and i was like well we can't dispel it i mean and it's not even just our build like we're not third level we don't have access to dispel magic yet so i'm assuming the hazard's at least third level if it is y it's hard to it's to get it even with a second level to spell magic. So what if it's fourth level? It's just almost impossible. You have to critically succeed. So it's, it's really hard to uh, to beat these. The spell things. magic is a second level spell. You have to be third level to get second right, level right, spells. Right. Yeah. So we're not third level yet. So, uh, you know, it's just, it's not something we could possibly have yeah. at this stage. I don't believe, I don't think any class uh, has to spell magic. But also, a, a first we, level spell. Unless we missed out on XP. How, are you, we're not doing milestone, right? You're doing it, you're tracking XP? We're doing it Troy style. Yeah, he just makes it up when he feels like. <laughs> well, and you know, a lot of it's like, a, you know. <laughs> Let's go down you don't back. want no one. Let's go down back there. It goes down back there. I'm just wearing a shirt that ends here. Yeah. <laughs> and nothing. Uh, and just over. Oh, my God. Oh it's my a God. hairless <laughs> dolphin below. <laughs> What's going on I down there? a tiny there? little corset on the thigh. <laughs> <laughs> Classic thigh corset. One left corset. Oh, it sounds it's so in morning. uncomfortable. Uh, I was going to yeah. say, though, <laughs> it doesn't seem like after our Arcana checks, that Dispel Magic wasn't the end-all be-all. There's other ways to get around it, mm -hmm. but agreed that, yeah, on first glance, the Dispel Magic is like, well, too high power for well, us. Well, it sounds like it's either the spell or destroy the trap. E exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and with hardness and all that That's stuff. what I was saying, is it looks like someone attempted to do just that, Yeah, but... It's still there. Yeah. So that's why I was saying, like, is this something that would just disable it tempor temporarily since someone obviously made the attempt, but, you know, it came back, so. And we didn't get to see what the rest of the room was. I wasn't able to see up to or toward the top. Yeah, it would have been nice if there was just like a door, yeah. right? But it, it's not. It keeps going in some direction. So, yeah, it's very. Um, and of course, now that I'm rolling your knowledge checks, you never know what is true. Right. right. I actually prefer this system. Yeah. Oh, it's it's the better way. Yeah. For sure. It's just it's a lot more work I, on the it's, GM. It's a little more work, and it's yeah. I like rolling dice, but in the, with the knowledge check, it's all you, yeah. You, it's you kind can't of help the metagame. The false info is it really makes you it gives you pause. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it it represents real memory. Like is this thing a week to cold or fire? I can't fucking remember. You don't totally. always know what you know and what you don't know. Right. I mean, if you're doing it by the book, it's every recall knowledge, every perception, every stealth, every deception. Oh. They're all GM rolls, so you don't really know if you did well or not on the roll. The so. only drawback to that is the player under that system is almost never rolling dice. Yeah. 100 percent Except in yeah. combat. So you, you gotta find a balance. Everybody's gotta find a balance. Yeah. But it is like uh it's it's interesting in games where you roll a the GM rolls a stealth check, you know, and you're just like uh I don't know if I'm stealthy yeah, no, or it not. Makes you know? like, it makes yeah. sense. I mean, you might know that you fucked up a stealth. Like, so it's like, well, I heard that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I think it was the first app you were doing, like, there was like a society roll for seven arches. And so I pre rolled all of that beforehand. And one of you critically failed and so got false information. But I just knew ahead of time. You had the time ahead of time yeah, to do to it. Like, yeah. I mean, you could also give no, I mean, unless you crit, if you just fail, you give no information, right? Like, sure, sure. You, yeah. don't, you don't remember. Like, you don't know. You don't remember. What do you want to do? Let's talk about the end of last week's episode because I imagine that's something we're going to want to address. You do finally get to rest after this um, trapped, burnt room with uh, dedicated to like elf hate. Uh, you do get to rest. You set the guard dog out. You're taking turns, giving watch. Zephyr goes to sleep eventually. Here's Brother Ramius's voice is transported back to her friend Ollie's funeral but it's very, very different. She sees Lucky. Lucky turns into a stuffed animal. All the people around her turn into dolls and practice dummies. It's like remnants of her past and her, her, did her like further past and her more recent past are clashing together with dolls falling to the ground. And then you hear knocking within the coffin. You go to try to struggle to get it open and a figure comes out. At first you think it's some sort of beast, but you realize it's just a figure wearing a mask white fur 
and horns. You wake up in a cold sweat, lying in uh, the unused bedroom, and there are some of your friends sleeping next to you. You're soaked. What do you do? Oh. Oh, she like takes her hand and puts it to like the back of her head. <laughs> like looks around, looks for Brother Ramius, but then like maybe remembers the dream and is like, oh, what's real? What's not? How do you feel? I'm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if she's starting to like have a fever or feel sick. Brother Ramius, I think that you are on watch here. And so, give me a perception. Do you even hear her wake up with a start? Stirring. Let's see. 16. I would say you hear heavy breathing. Uh, okay, he'll turn around. Zephyr. Mm. It's okay. Mm. There is. <laughs> Zephyr? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We've been undisturbed. You can go back to sleep. I don't feel good. <laughs> oh. oh no. I don't. What do you mean? Like. Are you sick? I don't know. Um, come here. Let me take a look at you. I had a bad dream. Oh. He's going to put a hand on her head to see if she's uh, hot to the touch. You were in it. Oh. <laughs> I, I was in it. Yeah. Really. And what happened in this dream? She's trying to get a sense if she has a fever. She is. She does have a fever. Uh, and she's, she's crazy. soaked. You she's were, crazy. You were at a funeral, but then you were also like a monster with like a white mask and fur and horns. And maybe she says that and like you remember your... Yeah, he freezes. What? Sorry, say that again. So, Describe so what, what like you saw. There was like a funeral. And it was Lucky's funeral, but then it was someone else's funeral and... And there were dolls, and you were there, and you were giving the eulogy, but then you weren't. And then there was a coffin, and I opened it, and there was like a monster, and it had a mask, white Sk horns, horns, and yes, fur. I saw the same thing in a dream. I saw it too. It was not at a funeral. It was not in a coffin. It was outside. Uh, it was at the abbey, the abbey where I once lived for, for many, many years. It, it had that beast-like face and, and horns. Yeah, it was like an animal, animal mask. I, I hadn't told anyone about it. I had never considered it had anything to do with the gates or Kanipo or any of this. Oh. But maybe it does. Oh. Or maybe, maybe we're both just a little under the weather. No? No, it cannot be a coincidence. It cannot. Hold on a minute. Let me make sure that you're not uh, actually fighting something here. Uh, I'm going to do a medicine check to see if uh, she's exhibiting a sickness or if she just got riled up from a dream. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that is a 23. 23. Medicine. She doesn't appear to be sick, but you do look at her wounds and you think back to the pit and you're like, that just seems like be very difficult not to contract something in there with all those dead bodies and the decay. However, this seems to be um, a manifestation of like the fear from the dream. Yeah. Um, and you just also get the sense that something has changed about her. Here, take this. And he pulls over his uh, water skin. Take some of this. You just you need some water. I. Don't think that you. <laughs> Is that how you drink? Oh. Oh, no, you, le you lead with your tongue. <laughs> you stuck her tongue into the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a really weird way to drink. <laughs> 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 a little <laughs> ineffective. You know what? It's your water now. Exactly. I guess Brother Ramius has this disease now too. <laughs> keep, keep, keep the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's yours now. He takes the sip, switches it around, spits it back into the. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> Oh, All right. You keep it. He dumps it. <laughs> <laughs> um, something has changed about you, though. <sighs> maybe, it, maybe it's from defeating that uh, that lady. Perhaps. Or something. Yes. There is a. And not from falling into the pit <laughs> of spikes. Um, the funeral. It was Lucky's funeral that you saw. Um. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was Lucky's funeral, and it was a lot of, it was a few funerals. It was, it was like that memory, and then other memories, all mushing together, and then like nonsense doll, doll stuff. What other memories? Oh, just you know, you know when people die, just other people dying. Did you have someone close to you pass away? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I guess we weren't really friends when he died, but, uh, yeah. So it was kind of like his funeral, and you were speaking at it, even though you don't know him. You weren't there. And then it was Lucky's funeral. Dreams can be very strange. And then it was faceless people there. This man, or, or boy, was long ago? Yeah, it was, it was a while ago. And you were close with him. Like, almost like family? <sighs> yeah, at one point, I guess. Yeah. She's uncomfortable. She's <laughs> it, it was unresolved, oh, I, so she's... I don't mean to pry, I simply mean to try to decipher what are the similarities? What brings this creature, whatever this is, into our minds, and in what situation does it happen? Oh, yes, those similarities. Right. Well, it, it was at a moment of great despair for me as well that this creature showed up. It, it was in a very painful memory of mine when many people, I'm sad to say, died. It wasn't a funeral. It was a, a tragedy, a disaster that had happened, and several people died. And this is where this beast chose to make their appearance in my dream. I'm not sure if it's connected, but I'm grasping at straws here. Maybe. I guess it's just nice to hear also that um, bad things that happen to you, you still dream about sometimes. And <laughs> we're dream. not alone in that. <laughs> Definitely not, Zephyr. Definitely not. I, it is inescapable, really. I think about it all the time. In fact, it's... It is a reason why I picked up such a heinous habit. Smoking and flay leaf. And it just gets my mind off of it, you know, for brief periods. I just push the feelings down with my will. Yes, you seem so, so unperturbed by so much that has happened. And I wondered if you were that strong emotionally. I controlled. It is my goal, one of my goals, to, yeah, have a handle on all of that, be the master of, like, my whole body. Yes, that is very good. And I feel like that's part of it. I think you're right, you know. The, the, I, don't want to get, I don't want to get preachy, but you've heard me speak of the Keeper, and the Keeper's... The keeper raised to, uh, ascended to godhood through this understanding of, of enlightenment. And granted, the keeper's focus is, is on the mind and on oneness with all living beings. And the understanding of all these threads of everyone together. But he is also connected with Aurori. And Aurori seeks the enlightenment of the body as well. The pure control that is taught by, I'm sure, the masters and teachers that taught you. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, is this mine? <laughs> I, 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 like, I was waiting too. I was like, I holy swell. shit. I started to swell and I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. I know this. I know this. I, I was like, this is awesome copyright <laughs> violation. Like, in my head just. <laughs> I was reaching for the volume. He was like, oh, yeah, I know. I looked like, down. Oh, I'm no. like, what, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was Cracking great. Up right there. <laughs> that was perfect. Uh, that Rory. was awesome. Skit. Yeah. Rory, a, a focus on the, the purity of body leads to the purity of spirit, right? And I'm sure your masters spoke of this in your training. I've never asked you about it, but you are, the way you carry yourself, 
you seem very, very well trained in that way. I try to be, yeah. But these dreams lately and everything that's been happening and then also not feeling powerful, not feeling like strong, just like, you know, the last few. That is it. That's it. It's, it's not a sickness. In fact, it's the opposite. I feel something has changed about you, and it is that you're stronger. You seem to, and something has happened that has grown your power. I can tell just by looking at you, I can feel it. I don't know if you brought light into the room or not. I, probably you didn't. Um, you just went in there and they're sleeping. You didn't like turn the lights on to wake everybody up. But as light spills in from the other room, you notice that she looks more ripped yeah. than usual. Mm. Like you think back, maybe you've never really looked at her uh, body per se, but she just looks like more muscular than you remember. Is this a symptom of tetanus? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should all sit should, should, should we be watching for a lost straw? Everyone just belly rocks into the spike pit. <laughs> this is a symptom of the awakened power feat, which Woo! you have. Oh. Yeah! Now, since your uh, you know deviant ability is the Titan Swing, you get to choose one of the awakened powers, both of which <laughs> just mean you are getting like when you unleash that, you are stronger. You can either make someone bleed now, and that bleeding damage stacks as you get stronger. Oh, that's awesome! Or on a strike, you can push someone away because you're so yeah. fucking strong. Wow, that's very dope. That's cool. Mm, which that's super one to cool. Pick <laughs> choices. Why did this unlock now? Why? Yeah. The like, same thing happened to you. That's right. I, oh, when I saw in my dream, dream, I got the awakening. Oh, that's what I was oh, thinking. It was oh. like, you're going to get something awesome out of it. Oh, that's really, oh. really cool. Yeah. Ah, that's so that's cool, great. too. Like, Joe, you knew, but also, like, Ramius knows that he got some, like, he Well, that's got why I was like, I can do this in character. More powerful. Because he actually knows that's from the so, dream. I yeah. didn't yeah. make the connection of seeing that. To that, and neither did I. Or awakened. Yeah. I thought it was going to be. I know. I did too. Yeah. I, I just thought, I you were, thought you were sick. Well, it could be both. I thought you were yeah. tired of things. Like, there is the danger that it could be what an onset of one day, right? Yeah, so, like, yeah, we're not yeah. quite there yet. Not out of the woods yet. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's awesome. Have you? Have did you roll a knowledge check on that mask or that creature? But no, I a never shade? did. I know. I, I just kind of like oh, one kept it oh. to myself. Yeah. If you, uh, well, if you wanted to tell Talitha, I could roll. Yeah, we should definitely talk about it now. The two of yeah. us have had the stream. Yeah, for sure. Um, has everybody? Uh, where are we? Do you, yeah, we're at the end of the rest. Slept? Yeah, if you guys are done speaking, um, you do have that ability now to choose uh, an awakened power. You have, it's a fourth level feat. Or cool. Feat four, I think. It um, is. The awakened it's a power. free fourth level feat. So you get that, and, and that allows you to unlock. And there, I think each power has multiple awakenings, so that yeah. you can get this awakened thing multiple times or take it at higher levels to unlock even more powers. Um, so cool. That's cool. So yeah, I would say that uh, time passes and eventually throughout your cycles of watch and rest, you're all awake. And of course, Talitha has Shame in a little um, chamois. Buggles, um, <laughs> while I was on watch, your... Um, <gasps> he crawls out from under the yeah, bed. crawl out from under <laughs> the bed. The, um, your, your new charge the, uh, became a figurine again. If you'd like to... I wrapped him up for you, so you don't have to look at it. But if you'd like to have him back, and he sort of, yeah, cautiously, kind of like takes the the wad. <laughs> Thank you, Talitha. And he wants to look at it, but he doesn't. He just sort of quickly stuffs it into his pouch at his belt, and straightens himself up. May I say, Buggles, I I thought you were bra very brave yesterday. wasn't really me, I think, but thank you. No, I mean at the end of the day, when you told the dog to keep watch for us. Oh. It's very brave of you. We appreciated it. Thank you. Thank you. You did well, Buggles. I know that was difficult. Thank you. And he's just sort of nervous. He's sort of like pawing at the pouch, like at his hip with the figurine in it. He's kind of like kneading it. Asta wakes up too. She's curled up 
like a small dog on the bed. <laughs> what did I miss? Um, nothing. But I, I, I was uh, just about to say something. Um, I know this was difficult for you, Buggles, to command the dog. It's equally difficult for me, I find, to um, tell you all something that I've uh, unfortunately been keeping to myself. I, uh, Is it money? <laughs> uh, no, Asta. It is not money. I, I have no, I have nothing <laughs> of value. You found some. It's silly me. Uh, no. I uh, thought you were... You inherited some. Is it money? It is not money related. Oh, okay. Um, so sorry in fact, you, in fact, I should not be so hasty to dismiss. Uh, it could be anything. What do you mean? What? It is money. Even money? <laughs> it could be <laughs> money. <laughs> it could turn out... That, this could be anything. Money. Even a well, boat. we should all get some then. <laughs> could be. We should split it. Um, <laughs> I I regret that I, I did not mention this earlier, but some time ago, uh, before we entered this place, I uh, had a, a dream, a nightmare that I've had before. Only this time, there was a different element to it. A um, creature of some kind, or perhaps a, a masked creature, I can't tell, uh, appeared in, in a dream and uh, before I thought it was only my own psychosis, uh, but I fear that perhaps this is something that's related to, to what, we're, what we're doing. Uh, and he looks at Zephyr briefly just to see if she wants to share anything. He's not going to like share Zephyr's on her like behalf. flexing in a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do we notice a difference? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's just like... This is like but with Peter Parker, like after he gets bit by the spider. Exactly. Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you look... She's just like taller. <laughs> You see this? <laughs> see I, never, this? I never had this. Look at this um, tricep. Zephyr, you look fucking yoked. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I saw the mask also. In my dream, the mask, monster man, maybe not a monster. Um, white, white fur, horns. And I feel like maybe now if I unleash my anger in the right way, because I've done it a few times and it hasn't worked, maybe this time it'll work. You, you know, we all, after returning from wherever we went, had some supernatural ability that we didn't have before. Yes. I also felt mine strengthen after seeing this figure. Zephyr seems to have had the same experience and. I, I wonder, Talitha, if you've ever heard of anything like this. Can you can you draw me the creature? It's long ago for me. But Zephyr just dreamed of it last night. You're such a good artist. <laughs> I think you should hand I Zephyr a paper right you're now. You're such a good artist. <laughs> but I you've proven your artistic You're the best skill. of you're... us. Well, thank you. <laughs> you're too kind. <laughs> but my memory is hazy from you're constant the, drug use. You're the only one. <laughs> you can hand it to Zephyr. The Chance to sell lots of t-shirts. <laughs> It's really saving down on our art budget. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you when you say when Brother Ramius and Talitha are talking, like you know, we all have these powers. You see Asta look kind of confused. What do you? You all have powers. I mean, I found mine by accident. I don't know how everyone else did, but if I like unleash my anger in a sort of way, my limbs become like all different and elongated and I become more powerful for like a moment. And it seems to have happened after going through the gate. I don't think I have any. And I feel like my newfound power now is going to affect that in the future. She just looks at all of you looking at her. I don't think I have what you have. You don't have a new power from coming from the gate? Even Bolan did. He could, um... Asta, we are still learning what happened to every gatewalker as we go, but all, every one that we've met thus far has experienced some sort of infusion of power that they can't explain. P perhaps it's something you didn't notice yet, or something that you did without realizing it was new? She looks kind of like bummed out. You're the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Her hair bristles a little. Could I roll a knowledge check on the the masked creature thing that Zephyr and Brother Amy saw? Yeah. 
Um, if you think it sounds more magical in nature, do something arcana or occult. If it sounds more like a, a beast or a creature in nature, give me nature. Uh, let's do let's do arcana. Okay. You gonna roll for me? I will. Plus ten. Well, he describes it. Sounds like a. <laughs> like it's immune to all physical damage. <laughs> that sounds like it's immune, sounds like to, it's all immune to all physical, physical damage. damage. Yeah. Weakness five fire. <laughs> Weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean the white fur. You think like oh maybe like a polar bear or something like that, but then there, you don't think of any polar bears that have horns like that. It does sound magical in nature, like not an actual beast. Um, that that this mask is trying to uh, mimic. Um, the way both Ramius and Zephyr describe it almost sounds like um, it's intentionally meant to frighten. So it could be an exaggerated version of some other creature, but it doesn't... It, the the way they describe it, you don't immediately think, oh, that's a blah, blah, blah. It's very strange. And it, I almost don't sounds any, it almost sounds demonic. It does sound... I mean, the way you describe, way you describe it sounds demonic. Yeah. And I don't have any memory of anything... Like, I don't, I, it doesn't like seem vaguely familiar to me <laughs> something I've seen. No, nothing like that has happened in your dreams that you right. remember. I don't know. Perhaps it is something that unites us as gatewalkers, something we encountered on the other side, or maybe not. Perhaps I just haven't seen it yet. It's not about you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That voice echoes down the hall. <laughs> Too much! <laughs> Asta just... <laughs> bows and walks out of the room. Asta, Asta. Oh, so, I'm sorry, Asta. She, le- she leaves the room, she's gone. I, I, back into the Asta. charred room. She goes back to the shadows. She, she uh, runs into the trap at full speed. She goes, sits, she goes and sits next to the dead Shay. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, Asta, I was... It almost felt like I was stepping out of character there. <laughs> yes, it didn't really seem like you to leave No. Her. Almost like it didn't happen at all. Almost huh. like it didn't happen at all. And it was she stands back up. <laughs> <laughs> um, shall we move on? Should we keep uh, proceeding through the, uh, well, the stump? We know, we know we have to deal with this trap. Well, we there's, have another there's door. There's also a door. Oh, well, let's look at that first then, yes. There's the fake door. <laughs> I'd forgotten. The fake door is useless though, right? We can't. Yeah, the fake door is in the room with the dusty bed, which is now no longer dusty because you guys have been fucking around in it all night. Um, but the fake door is up... Um, up to the the northernmost point of this map, and uh, you guys already like knocked on it and listened, couldn't hear anything. Again, it seems like an abandoned project. Um, but in the room where you fought the Shay, which by the way, don't forget, you haven't really uh, done a, an actual perception check. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because we, we yeah. ended the episode with that fight, and then last week it just kind of turned into something else. We should do that. So I, I don't want you to forget about that. But there is another, well, not another, yeah, another door, because uh, one door leads back into like a little hallway that leads back to the room where you fought the centaur a door to the north uh, leads to that dusty bedroom and then there is a door to the east which is just north of that staircase that leads to the trapped room but give me a give me a general perception on the room you guys can roll it Ooh, 90, 18, 26 no 25 Okay, so in addition to the, you guys, nobody else needs to roll. In addition to those notes that you found of like the strange transformations, whatever process they're going through, like cutting into people and trying to elongate their limbs, it's very, very strange. You do find that this is something sh- evocative of what happens to you, yeah, Zephyr. Yeah, like now that we've talked about it out loud and we're looking back at the room, it kind of seems maybe. you see a picture of probably Maybelline or their arms all the way down to her ankles. Yeah. Like my limbs don't quite like out. look like this when this thing happens, but maybe These are the it is they were trying of it or to give them the powers we have. Well, perhaps if Kanipo is searching for those who are quote unquote worthy, and we and the the original targets of his experimentation were elves, we who have passed through the elf gates have acquired something within us that makes us worthy to him. That would explain. Mass, the mass, mass Shay's anger at us for him, his attachment and fascination with us. Perhaps we are, uh, we are quote unquote worthy ourselves. Maybe, but those that came before us were they unworthy? Decisively, yeah. all of them. Not the ones who disappeared. Uh, the ones that we believe died here at the base of this pit. Perhaps they were worthy. Worthy 
in some way as well, if if these drawings are to be believed. Yes. But was it the Shea that cut them up and destroyed them, experimented on them, or Knipo, or both? My theory is that the Shea is working for Knipo as a member of his court, or their court. Yes, I agree. All right, let's just, let us proceed. Finishing with the perception check, though, you find five daggers on the Shea's body, and um, right. also uh, among the collection of knives and needles, uh, you find two syringes um, that both contain a minor healing potion. Oh, oh very nice. Psh. Um... Who wants those? Maybe uh, Asta, Asta and Zephyr? I'll take one, I'll take yeah. One. Um, okay. And I'll take a dagger. I don't have one. I'll, my, why not Why not take one? Put it on my I'll belt. Dagger. It's a dagger for everybody. I'll take a dagger. Here, catch. Oh, you get a dagger. I'll you ta- get a dagger. I'll take a dagger. You get a dagger. I'll take a dagger. Foom, catch. Uh, um, all right, yeah. And then I'm going to listen at the door. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, 19. Listen at the door. <sighs> Sounds like a large room, but you do hear this like low thrumming sound. It sounds further away. Kind of like this. Um, I don't, thrumming, is it mechanical in nature or is it? Maybe it does remind you of a sort of mechanical sound, but there's, it's, it's faint. It's further away. It's behind a door. Might be some sort of engine. Definitely something, I don't want to say living per se. It's like just something going on back there. All right, I'll open the door. You open the door. Kunk. Oh, what oh, is happening? I can only see a sliver of it. What the heck? There what seems the? to be a tree over two fire pits and a bed. Oh, there's another bed. Another bed. A lot of beds in this place. It's bed. pretty cozy. You just put a bed yeah. in every room. You know, if you wipe this place out, you could turn it into a nice little B&B. Yeah. yeah. Um, the night hold in. Come to the Thin Lands. <laughs> Come to night hold. We've got a big stump. <laughs> a portal opens up every Saturday night. Uh, you have to stay for a week. It is a large chamber that is split into. Did he just give us information we didn't know? Yeah, do we have to stay here for a week? No, I just. No, he's making an Airbnb. Oh. It's like a minimum stay. Oh, minimum stay. Minimum stay. Metagame, metagame, metagame. This kid got it. Mainly for the educated people. Yeah. (laughs) You can't see, there are no Airbnbs in New York anymore. Yeah, it's illegal. There aren't really? It's illegal. It's illegal. illegal. We can talk about this later, but there's a whole lot. So just. Let's stop right now and talk about it. Um, (laughs) This is a big chamber and it's split into two levels. Um. There is a wide staircase connecting the room's western half, which is what you're looking into, to the eastern half on the far side, which is like 20 feet higher, okay? Now, the ceiling from where you're standing looking up goes about 40 feet. All the, It's like 40 oh, wow. feet above the floor, whereas it's only about 20 feet on the raised portion of the room. You see work tables covered in books, beakers, strange reagents, uh, all along the lower portion here where you're close to. Now on the room's raised half stand these two 10-foot tall amber pods. They almost look like giant bug cocoons. Oh my gosh, on Foundry they're moving. They yeah, are? Yeah, they're like what? light, like, like shifting like lava lamping. inside. Oh, oh that's is, messed up. Yep. Can't each, I each can't of, see anything. <laughs> each of them is is glowing softly with this orange light, which, if you look on Foundry VTT, is moving. That's cool. There is a miniature gray tree with white leaves hanging, just suspended in the air between these two cocoons, and its roots like reach out and twist around each pod. <laughs> so the pods are on the ground. But the tree is the pods are on the ground. The, the tree. tree is just kind of hanging there. It doesn't make any sense. It's doing like parallel rings. Basically. Yeah, it's like <laughs> still holding. Uh, and wow. from your perspective, Talitha, you do see a door to the north and then another door to the south, which you would think the door to the south goes to around that alcove that Asta wasn't able to see because she didn't get that far into the room. 
Uh, so the door to the south probably leads to the trapped room, and then there is another door to the north, and as you mentioned, a small bed to your left. Um, I'd like to do perception to see if anyone's hiding in here. Okay. Uh, there seems like there's light, so that's uh, it's helpful. Uh, 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20, you say. 20, eh? 20. It's pretty good. What comes after 19? <laughs> pretty good roll, Matthew. <laughs> Pretty all right. Not quite as good as a 21. But still. (laughs) You don't see anyone. Mm. But you feel very uneasy. Just feel like you're being watched. Mm. I feel like we're being watched. I don't see anything. We should proceed carefully. Is this some sort of power source? Could be a trap. Yeah, can I is there is there a check I can do on the pods? Do I recognize them as a power source or um yeah, what's your arcana? Plus ten. It is unlike anything you've ever seen. It unlike looks anything I've ever it seen. It looks like some sort of you look at the pods and it seems like you could step into them. Oh portals. Awesome. Like Any large chance you want to step into one? <laughs> uh, although, Finally earned your power. Although I don't have, <laughs> although I don't have this knowledge, I know a previous party member of yours. A stove exploded on them, so no, I don't want to go near the glowing orange pod. I'd rather not. <laughs> she seems to have a strange connection with Lucky. Should I, <laughs> should I walk into the pod? Perhaps I will let's, gain my power. Let's just examine just, the room. The in the pod. Buckle said she'd gain her power, Talitha. Yes. <laughs> I've seen it in a vision. I just want to belong. Brother Amy is saw it in a vision. I am a psychic, you know. Really? <laughs> um, okay, I'll go. Hold on. I want to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Where's my Tinder twigs? Are you excited enough to watch me walk into the pod? <laughs> I'd watch is, this sober. <laughs> is there like a nature wall that you could make because of trees, maybe? Or is it just Arcana for. There's some nature. This. Who wants to nature? You want to nature? I nature want to nature. I'll nature. Nature it up. Oh, Is everybody entering 15. the room? Good. Uh, 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 have to, if you want to roll that, you got to come into the room. the room. Yeah. And also, do you want to roll it for us? I have my no, bow I'll let out. You guys roll it. You have your bow out. Let the record show. Let the record's bow. Rape, rape, rape your out. Okay. What did you do, Joe? <laughs> Unmentionable. <laughs> <laughs> what did you roll? I so, rolled oh, there. fifteen okay. total. Okay, Zephyr steps into the room, looks at this thing. It is some sort of apparatus, like a, it's not a machine. You don't see any mechanical parts, but it it's clearly was created for some, some sort of magical engine perhaps. purpose. Everybody give me a perception check except Talitha. 22 for Asta. 24 for Brother Ramius. 21 for Buggles. Eight. Okay. Talitha, you're in there. You're looking all around, maybe transfixed on this. Uh, Zephyr also transfixed on this double potted tree contraption, thrumming, doorways, sort of inviting you into these two pods. And Buggles and Asta and Brother Ramius are looking all around and you look up at the ceiling and you see a humanoid figure clinging to the (laughs) ceiling, like trying to be really quiet and watching. It has almost colorless skin. Looks like a man wearing like a heavy looking lab coat it's also like Tobey Maguire in Spider-Man. <laughs> he turns his head towards you and you see he has on like goggles, but the goggles or the eyes of this creature like extend out like eye stalks, like three dimensional oh, from his face. <laughs> he looks like some sort of mad scientist and he realizes that you see him. He says, so? The heir apparents have ventured into the reproduction lab. Uh, I thought it was eggs or something. Oh, are you perhaps here to have a look-see at my creation? A 
tell you this much. There is nothing so ingenious in your world or this. The Slim has been very pleased with my work thus far. They will no doubt love to see how I use what's left of you for my final experiments. Come now, let's have a look-see at you. And we'll be back right after this. <laughs> oh, God. Still relying on digital dice rollers for your random number generating needs? There has to be a better way. Now, there is. With the new Glass Cannon Podcast Campaign 2 cast dice sets, you can generate random numbers right on the table. No more hassling with smartphone apps or programs on the internet. No more judgmental stares from the Matthews of the world. And now when you meet that special someone out at the club on a Friday night and they ask you if you own any sets of gemstone dice, you can say yes on your way to Sextown. Get your Glass Cannon Podcast Campaign 2 cast dice set today at glasscannonnetwork.com slash store. But order now. Quantities are extremely limited. Except for Joe Dice. We have plenty of Joe Dice. And we're back. Roll for initiative. Uh, okay. Oh, man. Let's have a uh, look see. Roll, 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 roll. I just don't understand all the, like, double talk in here. What do you mean the heirs, heir apparent? Remember we saw in the we, we, we're in worthy. That painting. That we're, yeah, but then they're going to destroy us. I don't understand. I think we have to continually prove. Wait, what did but he, that's not what, what he said. What did he call us? The heir apparent. Like, heir apparent. It actually should be heirs apparent. It's a reproduction lab. Heirs apparent. Heirs apparent. And we, I don't want but, to put on airs. But yet they're going to, you know, whatever, destroy us in, well, in order to feed saw this the, machine or something. The latest painting, it was, it seemed like Kinipo was being reborn as someone else. Yeah. yeah. So episodes like you die and you're able, his spirit passes. Yeah, through. maybe I the point know. is to murder one of us or all of us for that the power. Like we'll be reborn to give, Kine or they think that. I can't follow. Power. I can't follow. Uh, while you're rolling initiative, I will show you this Whoa. picture. Oh, Whoa. Nice. That's fun. <laughs> it's, it's clinging to the ceiling. I have a feeling we're going to be that dealing with an alchemist. That is mad scientist fashion right there. <laughs> yeah. He is dressed in the mad scientist uniform for sure. And what look like all bird sneakers. Purple uh. pants and, uh, <laughs> purple pants and definitely, brown lab coat. Definitely all birds. Uh, all right. Let's yeah. get into it. What did you roll? Zephyr. 17. 17 for Zephyr. Respectable. 17. Not good. Respectable. <laughs> <laughs> Buggles. Not good. Uh, six. Six. Ooh. Better than Buggles. Uh, Talitha. 12. Yikes. No. Looks pretty good now. Hosta. I rolled a cheeky 10. A cheeky 10. You cheeky little 10. Brother Ramis, you usually have a pretty decent Anish. That's where the rolling luck stops with you. Yeah, he's pretty, uh, well, he's very perceptive. Yeah. He's very perceptive. Uh, 21. 21. Uh, all very good. Um, not not as good as mine, unfortunately. I mean, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's, not fair. it's ridiculous. I want, I'm, I'm writing it down. I want to know. The D20 roll of every initiative you roll. Because <laughs> at least everyone in this one has been over 17. Well, I think it's the type of thing that, like, when you are uh, at least uh, apparently outnumbering the opponent, uh, I feel like they're bumping up the perceptions of the opponent to give them... Oh, well, that's fine. I want to know what your die rolls are. I think they're super high. They're all electronic. Uh, <laughs> electronic? Or yes, electric. but we'll say clinging <laughs> goggle man. Uh, I thought you say they are electric. They are electric. They are electric. They're literally electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. All right, so uh, clinging goggle man will go first. My goodness gracious. I think we'll start with some so spells. So glad we're all clustered up here. Oh, mm. uh, yeah, yeah, you guys are all just... Perfect right there. Let's say Asta, Zephyr, and Talitha. Three scorching rays come flying. Oh, you. whoa. No. I'll start with Asta. It's going to be a 31 to hit. Oh, yeah. Crit. Uh, yeah. Crit on Asta and then on Talitha. Natural one. Oh. Hey, hey that works. And then Zephyr uh, is going to be a 25 to hit. Regular hit. Regular hit, not a crit. All right, so let's So are deal. we doing fan fumbles? It is a... Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that fan fumble would come before the third ray. 
Right, so we'll deal with, we'll Ooh, go okay. unless, unless, I don't know how Scorching Ray works in second edition. I think it's probably been remastered out, but is it like All at the same two time. actions and you fire three rays? It's three actions for three rays. Okay, so that, ah. is a, that third ray is a different action. Maybe it is. Uh, it's three different it attack rolls. So the way that, it, well, let's see what happens and we'll interpret it. Uh, wow, this is brutal. So yeah. because I fired more, two or more rays, the damage goes up to 4d6. And for you, it's going to be doubled. So, all right, very bad roll. Um, 22 points of fire damage, and those were bad rolls. Ugh. I'm almost dead. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then uh, do you want to tell me what the fumble is, and we'll figure out how this Sure, I'd love to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tyler, from San Antonio, Texas. This Tyler. one is called Brain Scramble. Hi, Tyler. Help us. You miscast your spell. Oh. Yes. Oh. And your magic goes awry and scrambles your brain. Your character forgets how to speak effectively for 1d4 rounds. Yes. You can't cast spells requiring a verbal component. Oh. 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 Which means the third ray could not get off. Oh my gosh. Thank 1d4 you. rounds. 1d4 rounds, four rounds. Oh. Oh, 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 oh wow! Shit. Wow, that, oh, that, wow. Yeah. that is enormous. That is enormous. <laughs> Thank you, Tyler. Oh. Now we talked about this off air. I was asking you, like, what's going to happen when someone like fumbles mid John or attack of opportunity causes something like a, it was yeah, in the middle of condition. this action? Yeah. You know, this is a made up condition. But yeah, it's yeah. a made up condition. But uh, anyways, it's going to be. It says effectively silenced, capital S silenced. So yeah. I, I, I know that's a two e. Yeah, I'll have to look at silence. But I would say that like because this is going to affect the rest of this round. That's the, at least two actions of this round. Everyone will realize this is round one of him not being able to use <laughs> verbal components. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, what a horrible, horrible thing. Now, the good thing about scorching, well, I don't even know here with scorching I'm, gray. The way I'm re I, it's blazing bolt in the remaster, by the way. Okay. Um, uh, the way I'm I wouldn't know. Well, I'm, the, I'm, no I'm, way I'm looking at the player core. The way I'm reading this blazing is that bolt. the three rays get fired at the same time. Okay. Rather than. So it's like yeah. the third way. It's part of a one. Does it also yeah. say in the spell if it has verbal and somatic components? Uh, That's what I wanted to look at because it's like the one to three action is based on does rays. Ver ver uh, doesn't talk, say anything about the components. It's got the attack trait, the concentrate trait, the fire trait, the manipulate trait. Its traditions yeah. are arcane and primal. Oh, somatic verbal. Okay. There we go. But there we go. yeah, and it says somatic verbal. Yeah, so this particular one, I'm looking at Scorching Ray, of course. I don't know, components might work differently in the remaster. But anyways, I'm going to have that, that damage hit. It says for each additional action you use when casting the spell. So I think it's one united three actions. Yeah, on. that makes sense. 15 points of fire damage to Zephyr. Oh, Matthew. Lord. Matthew argued for that. Oh, Matthew Lord. argued for that. <laughs> and you see, after those two go off, he wanted to like continue <laughs> dissing you, and now he <laughs> yeah. Which sucks, because I would have loved to role play during combat. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that is the end of this gentleman's turn. It is now for the Ramius. Oh, dear. You see them get lit up. Asta the two teetering with a couple hit points left. Spiders Four. are over half down. Four hit points. Four hit points left. Oh. Four I lost half of them. Oh, no. I mean, we've got, we've got our shots. Yeah, the other thing I'm realizing, just because I was complaining off air uh, about some things that are more difficult in the remaster, I did also lose Shocking Grasp no longer exists. Yes. They changed it. The equivalent is a spell called Thunder Strike. Electric Slide. Cha-cha, <laughs> 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 real smooth now. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But there's a Thunder Strike, but it's now a reflex save for the Thunder Strike, so I can't use it for my spell strike. You can't, it has to be an attack uh, for the spell strike. It can't just be like a reflex save spell. Pretty sure, I'm looking into it, but you see me staring at my computer, this is why. Yeah, I think we were talking about this. Ah! <laughs> what is the uh, remastered equivalent of silenced? That's a good question. I think there is one. Quieted? Because I don't see Shush. silenced anymore, because I think, Shush. I don't think components are a jaw. Am I misreading no, that? No, components are a jaw. They are. But uh, silent, I, I'm not sure, we got, we got to figure it out. But silenced okay. is not something that would be changed in a remaster, I don't think. Yeah, because I see it goes right from sick to slowed. It was. It's not a condition. It was never a condition in the first edition of mm -hmm. 2E, I don't think. Uh, silence does a condition. So anyway, I'll look into it, see what I can figure out. But uh, maybe de deafened? I don't know. Um, yeah, it might be deafened. Might be the better way to think about it. It's like I'm looking at the silence spell. Uh, the target can't use sonic attacks, nor can it use actions with the auditory trait. This prevents it from casting. So yeah, the, like the yeah, silence, silence spell. It doesn't affect any of your numbers or anything. 
So there's really no reason to apply it as a condition. Yeah, I don't think it's a condition. It basically, I, it, I think, it, obviously, these are made up. It's acting like the silence spell. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Um, okay, Brother Ramius, uh, seeing the Scorching Ray, is going to... First thing he's going to do is he's going to be taken aback with just a straight shock of fear as all around him these fire rays get shot down upon him so recently talking to Zephyr about all of you know the, the fire and all of his friends dying and everything like that and I think it messes him up and he's gonna go buggle style on this and take the frightened one condition oh immediately okay. off the jump wow just being surrounded by scorching rays and he's gonna reach out like a shaking hand and try to help Zephyr and he just flashes and he just sees one of his sisters in this um, in this burning uh, 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 um, oh my God, my brain. Uh, in Abby? this burning Abby, yeah. Uh, trying to help her with mundane means as it was burning down. And he's going to do battle medicine on Zephyr. And really, really need a good roll here, Zephyr. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, I got it. I got it. Uh, so that is a successful uh, battle medicine for uh, seven hit points. And then he is going to cast heal on Asta with the two action ver version. Dope. Uh, just confirming battle medicine is, is one, yes, battle medicine is one action. Uh, so then he will cast heal on Asta and that is gonna be uh, 15 points nice. of healing. Thank you. Oh, and his heart is just like pounding out of his chest. He's praying desperately to his God and he can't move. That's all of his actions, so he's done. All right, it is Zephyr's turn. Zephyr, the fire is just crackling away on your rippling muscles. <laughs> <laughs> My newly tensed muscles. Um, is he still up on the ceiling? Yes. Um, cool, so he's... What was that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he looks like. Let's have a look -see. So he's definitely more than 30 feet away from me because um, he's 40 feet up onto the ceiling. Yeah, because 40 from where you guys are standing. And also, no, uh, he's in dim light uh, because Brother Ramius's light is not extending up to it's there. But the light from these little pods? Not um, enough to illuminate him. So it's just going to be a flat check, right. um, which is at least DC5. So I've got, <laughs> I've got my bow out, so I go into my monastic, monastic archer stance. Flurry of blows with a long bow. And is there, wait, is there a flat check? There is a flat check. Why? Um, because it's in dim, dim light. The uh, the orbs don't don't produce light. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, not not so much that it uh, illuminates it past dim from Damn. where it's clinging. Now, a uh, couple things. Remember, we're going to roll the flat checks first. It has an ability that raises the DC to seven. Oh, that is such a cool ability! <laughs> <laughs> it's called shadow blending. So because of shadow uh, blending, while concealed in dim light, it's going to be a flat check of DC got 7. Got to get light on this son of a bitch. So give me the flatty first. Flatty. How high up is he? 40 feet. Seven. Oh. Seven, all right. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. And then I guess wow. roll the first attack, so the and then we'll do another flat. first attack is a 11. Oh my okay. God. That's a bummer. That, Natural three. That is a miss. Back to this one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Matthew, why are Matthew. you coming at me today? <laughs> All right. It's cold. <laughs> strike two. I was like, when did I come? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, I have been coming two. at you today. All right, flat check number two. Now the two. flatty. You're as cold as ice. That's what I thought. Uh, yeah. Three. Oh, oh my God. God. No. So you just rolled seven, three, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I did roll seven, three, three. What's it to you? Uh, also, just like you rolled a 19 just like this for right, no reason. So... Asta, I'm sorry I didn't spend more time just healing you. All right, so that was one action. <laughs> Still want to walk into the orb? Don't be mean. Um, I'll, walk in, I'll walk into the orb. I'll walk into that orb so fast it'll make your head spin. <laughs> <laughs> Every episode, it's like, what's going to get Francis? Yeah, what's going to make Francis laugh? <laughs> um, all right, so that's one action. Um, I guess I want to spread out a bit into the room, so I'll move Zephyr. Uh, apologies. Yes. Is Monastic Archer Stance an action to enter into? I did, so that was one action. So saying the Flurry of Blows is one, one action, and, and then you got Flurry of Blows left. of two things is one action, so now I'm gonna get out of this group that we're in. Even though uh, this thing can't do somatic spells, maybe he has something else. And now I'm wondering okay. if it actually would be useful to stay clumped together because if he's going to have to come down to us to attack us, we could all get off hits. I was wondering if we hit him real hard, maybe he'll fall from the ceiling. 
I could not move and try some check. No, I think you're. I think you're right to be wary of in case he has a spell that doesn't have a somatic component. But typically, or, or being grouped up is no good. So he's also got have. vials on his. That's true. That's he, true. I think he's. An he's alchemist. giving alchemy vibes, so yeah. if he can launch stuff, those goggles. Throw bombs. <laughs> throw bombs. <laughs> those goggles. Yeah. Right. yeah so right. I move out the way. <laughs> move out the way. Move out the way. Okay. Is that your John? That's all I have. Okay. Talitha. It's my turn. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, Talitha will sheath her rapier, draw her crossbow, okay, and then move down or move up into the other portion of the room. Yes, get up there, put the pressure on. Those pods pulsating in front of you. Uh, she'll ba- she basically gets to the top pods. of the stairs. Okay. Okay. That's my, that's my turn. All right, Talitha, good to the top of the stairs. You look up and you see this figure bathed in shadow. It is Asta's turn. All right, so with the spells I have prepared, again, talking about the remaster, I do have Thunder Strike because it used to be Shocking Grasp and I was able to use it with my spell strike. I can no longer do that Gross. because it's not a spell attack anymore. It's a reflex save. Oh. So you can't do that with the spell strike. It's okay. Oh. Yeah. I still have it prepared, so I'm just gonna use it now. I'm just yeah. gonna. And you can hit him from range. I can hit him from now. It's range. It's, That's the big change. It's just crazy to think like of like Della, how much of a. a I mean, it's a classic shocking Magus grasp thing. into yeah. the spell strike, and I can. It's so good for a magus, but I understand they changed it to range because I'm sure it's not as helpful. Is there an equivalent magus spell that's just like, you're like all right, that was o- op? No, not op. I'm just like in the remaster. It's, this is the standard. Spell strike spell. Oh, you there's know, multiple of them. There's a bunch of cantrips that are really right. great, like gouging claw. Yeah, they're just, they're just isn't. I don't think there's an, a, a, a one first, that's electricity based. Yeah, I'll have to look into it. It's cool because uh, Asta is electricity based. Like she has the electric tail stuff. Uh, so I was like, that's cool, but I'll find something else. So anyway, I'm gonna cast the spell. Okay, and is it an attack roll or it's just I have to roll? It's a reflex save now. So are you wearing anything made of metal? Oh no! Nope. Padded armor, goggles, Pad- goggles, the goggles, goggles. Let's see what they're made out. Your vials goggles. have what are metal they? caps. They wood goggles. goggles. They wood goggles. Those boots looked steel-toed. Just saying. Um. <laughs> Tell me, an alchemist isn't wearing any metal at I'm all. Assuming uh, they're an alchemist. Belt. I'm seeing padded armor. Yeah, but the goggles. I don't think they're whatever. Armor. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. I shoot them in the face. Yeah, it is a minus one of you. Um, reflex save. Reflex save. All right. Let's see if this <laughs> dude that? clinging to the ceiling. Yeah, let's see if he has, has good different. reflex. <laughs> it's going like reflex. It's going to be like a spider. 19? Yes. You, you, so it's going to be half. Bad roll, by the way. Uh, but it's going to be yeah, 1D. I'm not surprised. Bad roll. 1D12 electricity and then 1D4 sonic. Um, sonic boom! So that's going to be four electricity. Ow. And. Ow. That's going to be uh, three halved, one, one sonic. Uh, and Is the then, other one halved? Yes, I already halved it. Uh, and wow. then uh, after that, you see Asta move her foot back. Mm, and she goes into her arcane cascade. Oh, I like that. Like scrapes the foot across the <laughs> dirt. It's car cascade. And that is her turn. Buggles. Buggles is going, he's going to unleash a frostbite attack spell type attack with his mind. Uh, give me a will save or a fortitude save. Okay, and there's no attack roll. No. So you just can do it. All right, fortitude save is going to be a 16. Uh, that's a fail. Amazing. All right. I rolled the same thing I rolled for my reflex save. Should have wow. done a fortitude. Way worse at that. All right. Definitely should have. Uh, that's four points of cold damage. That is icy cold. Nice. Nice. And I, with my Third action, I am going to just raise my shield. Scream. Raise your shield. Oh. Okay. Uh, great. That's the end of round one. We go to round two. It is Clinging Goggle Man's turn. <laughs> Clinging Goggle Man. Clinging Goggle Man, who is silenced. <laughs> we'll never know his name. He'll never be able to tell us. Well, in four rounds. <laughs> <laughs> four next. rounds, we can say, What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> hey, what's your name? Um, okay, well, this is really, really interesting. All right, so what I'm going to do here is 
<laughs> we really choked Troy up. Uh, he was yeah, this is... not ready to be silenced. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to kind of move towards the back of the room along the ceiling. Ugh. Touches uh, his goggles. Um, does something with the goggles and just kind of moves to the back of the ceiling and uh, just stands there, kind of hides in the back of the ceiling. Like not kind of hides hiding. or hides? Not actual. Actually, you know what? It's one he's action. In, he's in clear view on the ceiling. How is he's, he going to hide? He's in dim light. He's got a shadowy form. Uh. If you have an excuse to kind of hide, you, you could, I guess. Yeah, I mean, this is such a, I usually don't do it because it's such a pain in the ass to track. He's obviously right there. Um be a stealth check you know so basically now if you attack you roll a perception to see if you can like see it on top of the flat check oh, no, I thought well if he's check. hiding you you would have to do a, a seek roll to make him concealed instead right. of hidden hidden is a dc 11 even though he's in plain sight like that's the tricky thing like you i roll a high i rolled a hide right the only reason that this would work you is can, if you're saying this creature has an ability that makes him be able to blend into shadows in this way. Yeah, or uh, if there was cover or, you or greater the cover. To each of our perceptions. Yeah, it's just that I'm, I'm not going to do it. It's it's pretty obvious. There's nothing. If there was something on the ceiling, I thought maybe I could sneak behind. I could play around with this. But no, he's just going to kind of go into the corner there. And uh, I've got one action left. I'm going to go ahead and just throw, uh, pulls out a dagger, th- throws it at Talitha. Can you, out so we have line of sight on each other from where we are. He has yes. a dagger in his hand. He has a dagger in his hand. I'll do that. But then if I want to use a dagger again, I've got to draw it. So the orbs and the the, uh, the pods in the tree are not blocking us. I can see you. Where yeah, because he's on the ceiling. So he's in dim light. He's concealed. But I, I have a direct line. You have a direct line. And uh, the direct line of dagger comes down. Slow down. Right. I don't think you have the range, by the way. This whole thing, this whole turn has gotten a little out of control. It has. You've said 19 things. <laughs> <laughs> what when he touched doing? his goggles, Cyclops. One thought. action. One action. You also then he moves. moves. Move to the corner. Two Second action. action. Pull out a dagger. No, had a dagger in hand. How did he have a dagger in hand? He was said he was clinging to the wall. Mm-hmm. You're right. Ceiling. Also, the dagger's out of range. You throw. You can only throw a dagger ten feet. You can. You get a penalty. Yeah, you, know, you can take a penalty. Um, throw for the- yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna stay there. Fuck it. I'll, I'll. I'm not even gonna pull out a dagger. I need both hands to. To cling. Yeah. Fuck it. All right. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stay up there. I was coming in my round. I need, I need to wait out this silenced. It is uh, Brother Ramius' sister. Ooh, okay. This is tricky. Um, Got an opportunity here. I what a t- game changer. You what know, a game changer. Yeah, a big game changer. I do have an opportunity here, but it is a weird, it's a weird situation. I want to try something here that is going to make everybody angry, I think. <laughs> um, I am going to... Boy, um, what do you think? My, can I see him? Uh, I would say that you can see him. He's in, he's concealed. You can, you kind of can see the shape. That's the way I imagine it. Like I can see the you shape. Try to attack it. You might miss. Okay. Well then, you know what? Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. Instead, of, so this orb that is the orb itself is it? It's large enough to fit a person inside of it. Mm-hmm. And it's like one person could fit. And it's hovering up off the ground? Uh, the tree is. The pods are on the ground. The pods are on the ground. Yeah, the tree is just kind of... And he's up... I mean, this... if you look at this thing, it very clearly looks like something. Yeah. And he is... <laughs> <laughs> and he has even it's used like a... the term reproduction. Reproduction chain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he is 40 feet They're up. balls. On this... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. I got it. Oh. The, the trees balls. The tree balls. Uh-huh. Trees balls. I trees not go. forty feet up on I the have ceiling. To go. Trees. <laughs> there's the title trees of the episode. Nuts. <laughs> tree nuts. They have uh, tree sticles. There I'm it is. allergic to tree nuts. So that's what tree nuts are. Yeah. yeah there you go. Okay. What do you want to do? We're uh, done riffing. We're done riffing. <laughs> Brother Ramius is going to. He is going to cast. I'm going to cast light. On the. Uh, this is what he's doing up there, but. Yeah, it's like. Ah. On the guy. <laughs> well, I can't ca- I don't want to cast it on the guy because, uh, first of all, it needs to be an object. Secondly, his, say, gla- his goggles. It, it needs to be something that isn't concealed because I'm not going to roll a flat check. Oh. So uh, I basically want to cast light on the. like a, a plank or part of the ceiling that's right by where he is, essentially. Okay, and you so, can do that from range? It's got 120 feet of range. Why don't you cast it on the tree? 
uh, because I felt like the tree is too is too low. I needed to be within 20 feet of him. So the way he was describing, he said the balls are on the ground, and uh, <laughs> the tree's nuts He's are old. on the ground. This Matthew. is an old tree, all right. <laughs> <laughs> He's sensitive about this. Saggy tree. They used to be up there. They used to be all the way to the still work. I don't think that's Just how they work. I don't think they were at the ceiling. I don't think that's how they work. I mean, just if you're listening to this, please just (laughs) pop on to the YouTubes for a second (laughs) and and take a look. I mean, this is why uh, this joke works so well. So phallic. Um, I'm just trying to draw something that I can put light on. Yeah, so just draw something. Yeah, exactly. Right there. And a dig? Put my ball, more balls. And put the, the light spell on it. And then you stop. remove it from Brother Ramius. Is that something that happens with age? A little flowers blossom on the end? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You'll learn. Uh, all right, so I'm going to take the light off you and, and I'll, I'll figure out how to put a light on them. Great. Uh, thank you. And then I'm going to um, say, there, there, through the light, Zephyr, get him. And I'm going to uh, cast Guidance on Zephyr. Nice. Sweet. Guidance on Zephyr. Well, And that is Brother Remus. Oddly enough, it's Zephyr's turn. Uh, I'll figure out how to get it on there, but in the meantime, this thing is bathed in light. You will no longer have to roll that. Bathed in light. His goggles, infrared goggles, go, ah, go white. Turn it off. <laughs> All right, so no flat check. And I get a plus one to my first roll. For flurry of blows. Come on. With my bow. Come on. Here we go. Flurry of blows. Let's my go. Bow. Oh, that's meth. Yeah. <laughs> um, 24. Boom shakes legs. Hit. Boom nice. Uh, what was you just saying? <laughs> boom shakes legs. Boom shakes legs. Um, boom shakes okay. legs. I hear boom shakes legs is lovely this time. <laughs> One, boom two, shakes legs. Eight. Max damage. Oh! Eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. And then my next hit. Oh, oh. Isn't there a save? Don't aren't you don't you stun or something? Was this a John? Oh my god, I forgot. You and your mas- monastic stance. My, You're in your monastic stance. This was a flurry of blows. Um, you blows. hit. So Wait, did fortitude you get in the monastic stance? And it's Last stunning time. fist. Yes. All right. Um, I got in monastic stance. Stance. Uh, monastic archer stance. Last round. All right. And so stunning fist has I the six... incapacitation, John. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let me just roll this. So roll a natural one, so and then that's a failure. And this is uh, reflex or will? Um, or fortitude. Well, ba, 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 fortitude. If the fortitude. Oh yeah, and you're fortitude. Twenty-eight. He's oh. totally fine. Whatever. It's a that's a critical critical success. Yeah, which means you're you stunned. Get stunned. That's, right. that's not what that means. Look it up. Remaster. Remaster. The table remaster. Needs Joe to relax. Is so what? Apparently, Joe. you haven't read the remaster. Remaster, <laughs> remaster these. Joe just balls. so <laughs> just <laughs> remastered wow. these balls. How dare you? What you said you it say? with yeah. such confidence. Yeah. What did you say? Uh, uh, all right, so the second hit. Ooh, math. <laughs> it's it's 21. 21 it's to good. hit for the second hit. 21, hit. you're within range of your whole thing. You don't take any 100, penalties. The, it's a long bow, so it's 100 feet. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Troy gave you the side eye. Yeah. You're about the range. Goggle eye. That's a... Minimum damage, oh. one point of damage, but it's all inclusive, you know, it's sure. all one thing. Yeah. All right, so that's Counts. one action. And then is there any, can I use like knowledge and nature or something, or maybe acrobatics, just to learn more about this creature and like what's, <laughs> what right. else it can do? You can do maybe society. It's going to be a tricky society one. I'm trained uh, in society. Or, or maybe a cult. It's going to be hard. Like this is obviously a very specific type of creature, but I can see. I'll do society. Okay. Okay. Society. I tell you right now, it's going to be tricky. All right. Well, it's a sixteen. No, no, you don't know what this is. The creature itself looks familiar, but you don't know. Um. Cool. Let's just do one more hit. Yeah! Let's just yeah. do one more and a negative two. Let's see what happens. What could happen? You might hit. You might fumble. That's okay. Oh, Whoa. no, no, it, it, it uncracked. Oh, how um, nice. 15. <laughs> 15 total is a miss. <laughs> All right. That was really weird, though. Yeah, I that, know. Did you just see that? That Are was we? some Matrix. It's like uh, a Matrix. Yeah. 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 It's freaky. Talitha, you are up. And you can see this thing. It's bathed in light. Uh, okay, we're going to do uh, Devise a Strategy. Yes. There you go. Uh, Devise so, that jet. 
I will not be taking that attack. Because oh. I rolled a natural one. Oh. Uh, so instead, I will take my... I will, I will, however, use my known weakness to um, do a uh, recall not. Well, no, don't even grab a die. All right. Now let's talk about what you want to know. Right. I thought I would ask about the wall climbing. Okay. Troy, is that something he could get? Can you guys see the light now? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Kind of. Is that something he could get information on with a successful roll? Uh, yes. Uh, all right. So then you roll it. Okay. This uh, arc, what's your arcana? Plus 10. Plus 10. Okay. Um, that is uh, a spell known as spider climb. Oh, so it's, ah, so yeah. it's, okay. it's, 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 it's all. Yeah. So yep. just use your dispel magic that you have. This is my, this is and he'll fall right down. <laughs> the one we used in the You can see room. little yep. clinging ha- uh, hair is coming out of his hands and his Ugh. feet uh, as he's uh, holding on to the wall. funny. You made the Spider Man reference the second we saw him. Yeah, yeah. That's wild. Well, also, we talked about. And it was the second Spider Man Spider-Man reference. Yeah. It's unrelated. Big fans yeah. of Spider Man here. Love Spider-Man. That's true. I love Spider Man. We have one. You're in Queens. Here. Yeah. Yeah. You're in Queens. Well, do you want to do anything this turn? <laughs> oh my god, that's so sad. <laughs> um, well, I'm not going to take an attack. Okay. Uh, I am, however, I'm going to I'm going to use another. Mm, Must be nice. I'm, I'm going to get a closer components. look at the at the, uh, the 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 twig and berries we've got going on here. Oh, <laughs> go on. Uh, are there? Do there appear to be doors in the the orbs? You could call them doors. They definitely <laughs> close and they are open. They're not like uh, perfect rectangles, but you do see like plating uh, that's intertwined with the branches. Like someone could step in and then close the door or have the door closed from outside, but it's all kind of misshapen. Uh, there's not like a bench in there. It's like, looks like someone could stand in there and stand in the other pod. Are the orbs in any way, are they, are they kind of Glass? Crystalline glass. Yeah. Are they breakable? Um, uh, I imagine they would be, but it's nothing you could do within six seconds. You know what I mean? Like you'd have to hack at it for a while to try and take it down. You could roll a check on it to try and discern what this thing does. That would be an action. Yeah, I'm oh, just, just to recall knowledge on it. Yeah, I, I already rolled on it, didn't I? Up, up, at the, up at the top. Did you? Uh, I don't remember if you did. I think you, I thought you I did, did, but I can't remember what you rolled. Yeah, you rolled for me. Um, that's right. That's a, a, the the GM rolling a, a, a concealed check doesn't make it make it harder to know if you can but, roll to recall additional knowledge. But yeah. is that what you you were trying to figure out what it does? I was just seeing what it, what it, what what it was at all. But he yeah. told us now, now he tells us to re reproduction, reproduction chamber. chamber. Maybe I yeah, you allow me a new roll. Yeah, you almost get the sense just kind of uh, retconning a little bit to your original check because you did roll well. Um, it feels like there is some way that the pods are connected, that there is a transferal of something between yeah. one pod yeah. to the to other. The other, yeah. 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 Yep. Both steps in one side, yeah. Okay, um, I, my, my thinking about it was like, can I do something that would, clearly he cares about this machine, uh, or this apparatus, as you said, uh, and if I could you know, do something to it that would bring him down to us. That's like, exactly what I was gonna do. But if it's not, if it's not actually damageable, them. Yeah, you also like don't quite know what the power of this thing is. It might have, it might be something. It seems like we want to use. It seems like something that could work, but you really don't. You don't have enough time to really dig into what's going on here. Yeah. Maybe if you sleep in his bed, mm. he'll get real angry. <laughs> and come down. You just get in there, curl up. up. Yeah. We sit on the bed with our outside clothes on. Fart mm. on his pillow. Ooh, don't do that. Sleep in his bed. Eat his porridge. Yep. Yes. Break his bowl or whatever. Yeah. All right, I'm going to. Uh, I'll use my. There's nothing I can do to this machine. Break his bong. It's a Goldilocks <laughs> ditch. Just broke his bong. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm <laughs> Not getting high anymore in here, no, bear. No. Stupid bear. I'm going to use job. my final action to aid. <laughs> aid Zephyr. Aid Zephyr. And well, but I'm basically I'm going to use my the knowledge I've been rolling and my position here in the room. The information I gained about the spider climb to help Zephyr target him, them, him. She needs help. It is Asta's turn. All right. I, going with Talitha's line of thinking, even though you didn't say anything out loud, Asta had the same exact. You guys thought. been hanging out so long, you can just read her thoughts. Finish each other's sandwiches, Matthew. That was really. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> I wasn't. I thought it was a little obvious to go for the prisoner. High and dry. Anyway. You're supposed to say something like letters of intent. Like yeah, you just say yeah. something weird where right. it wouldn't have been what she said. Yeah. She was quoting Frozen. I know. I knew. You have a daughter. You have a baby. Of I course saw, I was quoting Frozen. I saw Frozen before before she did. Asa runs up. 
<laughs> wow, you lord that over her? <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it at all. <laughs> you seen this movie? I saw this before you. <laughs> yeah, before you were I, saw, I saw it before. before. It was cool. yeah. <laughs> and now I'm shutting it off. Oh, what? This is your first time seeing this? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Your second wow. year on Earth? Spoiler. Ooh. Her parents die. <laughs> In like the first 10 minutes. Enjoy your movie. Wow, spoiler. In the, in the, <laughs> my friends have to shave me on stage. <laughs> Daddy's got to go. <laughs> that was my first memory of father. Um, what do you want to do? Asta runs up to the left-hand orb uh, ball. Yep. And bum, 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 she, her tail is like crackling with energy. And she reaches her katana out toward it. And she says to the crawling man on the ceiling, Come down, or I'll destroy it. And she wants to see what he does. Okay. And she looks like she means business. Wow. Wow. Give wow. me a uh, intimidation check. Yeah, it can I was going to say, is there a die roll with that, or does she just say she right. means business? Like, that's pretty cool. Free action, I mean business. But I'll do a die roll. I'll give you a little die roll. I think it'll be an actual action if you want to do that. <laughs> that's an 18 intimidation. Okay. I and guess. I'll have you know. I do have the demoralized, intimidating glare. I didn't use it, but even if I didn't say anything, I don't even need to. <laughs> that, is, well, that is good to know. I'm really glad for that four seconds of the show that just happened right there. She didn't need to say anything, but she did. That is an action, just so you know. Fine. And uh, that's going to be against the fort or the will to see DC. I can't will, will, will But is she, are you trying to demoralize or are you trying to... Pull? I'm trying to intimidate. I'm, I was trying doing an intimidation. Um, doesn't buy it. Okay. Hi, and he's looking at you. Fine. Then my tail crackling with energy, I shoot him. The gun? Yes. Jesus. I turn, my tail is that? holding a gun. Where did I, Where did I get that? Uh, I'm going to shoot my uh, Foxfire at fox him, fire. Him, them. Okay. Uh, Foxfire. It's not going to do it. Ele 11. Okay. So that's, that's it. Good run. That's my turn. What is your Foxfire? Foxfire is a ability I have as a Kitsune. My tail crackles with electricity and I can shoot. It's like a cantrip. I can shoot a bolt of electricity. And is it one action? One action. And is it like 1d4 damage? 1d4. Yeah. That's f it's my only one action spell, John. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's worth throwing out there as a third action. He didn't care about the balls. <laughs> yeah. I threatened his balls and he did nothing. He didn't even care. <laughs> I've tried I to kick him in the balls. He doesn't seem concerned. Held a katana up to them. He didn't even flinch. Buggles. <laughs> wow. Buggles is going to unleash his psyche. Oh, Both the yes. Khan, Boom. Fiery aura surrounds him. And he, with his, he like elbows Ramius out of the side in his language. Oh. <laughs> Just out of my way, lesser creature. <laughs> and <laughs> he's going to run up to the top of the stairs. It's the Kula Khan. <laughs> and boom, another frostbite but fire damage so this like globe of, of flames zoom, like blue shut flames on a fortitude save Love it. fortitude save yeah, this is ample by the way 24 uh, excuse me 21 okay that is a basic success uh so that is five points of fire damage five points of fire damage and i take i get five points of temporary hit points I get five temporary hit points. Whoom. all right buggles awesome comes does some damage to this guy and it is his turn doom doom <clears throat> deep donk goes all the way to the other side of the room to get away from that light source hovers in the corner is there like a uh, total defense type thing in uh, 2e i'm trying to remember like where you like Take a, an extra stance to buff your if race. If anyone would know that, it would be me. I know, and, and I I'm can't. pretty sure <laughs> that there is not a uh, defensive fight defensively or total defense. I don't think huh. yeah, I, that I'm, I know of. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of like, you, you literally, could, you, you could take cover. I've been. Yes, yeah, so you can take yeah, cover. Yeah. That's a good one. Right, yeah. I mean, there has to actually be cover to take from, and I would be inventing it at this point. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm completely hamstrung by this. There's things I can do, but it's just, at this point, because you're not doing a lot of damage to him, it's smarter for me to just bide my time. And then just trounce everybody. Uh, so that's going to be the end of my turn. It goes to Brother Ramius. Here we got to deal as much damage in this time as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, Brother... Uh, that's two rounds out of four. Two rounds out of four, Brother... Two rounds out of four. It's 
three rounds out of four. The first, does the first round count? That's what you said. Yeah, but which, then I let the damage go through, so. Right, okay, got it. Uh, all right, so two rounds through. Brother Ramius um, is gonna keep the light on him. So he's just going to cast light once again over near his area to make sure that he is bathed in light. Oh, that's so smart. And he will, I love this, just, rah, rah, just like yeah. moving the light around the room. <laughs> Never done anything quite like this before. Is dancing lights a, a spell in uh, Dewey? Uh, or the remaster? Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's not in the remaster, but I I, I wonder what uh, it, it was. It was in Tui, so I'm curious what they did with it. I'll have to I'll have to look into it. In the meantime, I've got another action. It's called Here's Comes the Sun. Uh, and I'm going to remove his frightened condition at this point. It's been two rounds, and the, there's been no fire uh, on him or around him, so I think okay. he's getting back into it, and he sees that this is working against the creature. Now, what to do with that last action with... Uh, you know what? Well, let's go to Talitha this time, and he's going to cast Guidance on Talitha to try to hit this creature with... You have a crossbow out, right? Yep. Yeah. I, just, I, I rolled a natural one on my... Right. You, 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 yeah. So uh, he'll cast Guidance on Talitha. Okay. Zephyr, your turn. It's still on the ceiling 40 feet up. Yep. Okay, so I don't need to move uh, because you're still outside oh, of yeah. my volley. You're right yeah, as long as you're down there, it's 40 feet. If you were yep. to go to that second level, it'd be 20 feet plus the distance. So she's still in her monastic archer stance, holding the bow with her new arm muscles. Um, yeah. And the uh, hand wrap she's wearing, you see the glow start to happen. That's happened before. She's casting key strike um, on Ooh. this arrow. Aid. Ooh. Uh, and with I, that would be a 21 on the aid. Well, actually, can I use our, it doesn't matter. I use perception. It's plus one. Plus one. Plus one. And what did All you right. do? You were like, I was. I was either going to use like my position to point out where he was, but he moved, so I was like, maybe I'll use my arcana from the knowledge check to be like, oh, shoot him in the groin. And then I get an extra plus one because of key strike, so it's a plus two. Okay. Let's go. Nineteen to hit. Oh. No. God. Oop. Yeah, it's a mess. Oh. Cool. Let's just check out this focus pool. All right. Um, flurry of blows. I'm just going to try to hit two more times. Because why not? Why not? Nope. <sighs> Five. Dude. One more time. Dude. No. I said that. I mean, what would we have even half. done if this guy could cast spells? Yeah, for real. Well, he yeah. might have come down. I don't think so. Uh, no. Um, just cast I mean, range spells on us. Changes the game completely, but the fact that you're not really hitting it, it yeah. you know, it's, it's not going to change the game at all. It's, yeah. it's just still we really, dominant. I mean, if you don't hit, we really can't do damage. Yeah, it's yeah. A weakness of our party. Yeah. Well, bug, buggles. Can, I mean, I can do it, but it's like I can do. I saves. can do some too. Can but, do my cantrips, but I have to be using my actions all, on light. They're all except buggles. Except that it's all small damage. Small, yeah. yeah, yeah, small ticket orders. Um, yeah. So that was two actions. Third action. Um. I'm standing next to a lot of stuff on a desk. Is there anything here that looks interesting or useful? Ooh, a little perception check on the area. Miss I guess. Seek. Bonus. A little seek action. A little yes. seek. All right, give me a perception. <laughs> oh, is that a seven? Yeah. It's a seven. It's 11. You know, we're sponsored by a dice company and they'll probably get you new dice. <laughs> I'm rolling every single one of my dice. <laughs> all, they all. I just cycle they can, through them. They can tell when you get nervous. Like your dice I'm can not feel nervous. It. They all start I'm going bad. I'm pissed. Yeah. <laughs> They're all the, the same vials that are on his uh, pant leg in little like tubes. They're all laying over here. You see various flora that must be um, native to the first world on the table. Like their things are being extracted from the floor and put in the in these tubes, it's it's beyond the scope of your... Maybe he's a wizard. Um, mind. Maybe. I mean, he doesn't I, look you know, like a wizard. The, the look, it obviously looks alchemist, but... Yeah. Spe spellcaster? Vials? We haven't seen him, but we haven't seen him drink vials. Yeah, he spells, But maybe spider climb was a vial. Who knows? Well, that's can't her turn. Can't wait to tell you. I can't find it. That's her turn. She goes, I still can't hit this guy. You, 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 you keep bathing him in light, and that's very helpful. I still can't hit him. I don't know what my problem is. Says Zephyr to leave this turn. Uh, okay, I have uh, guidance from Brother Amius. Yes. Yep. All right, I'll devise a stratagem. Uh, I actually know what this is, and that will miss, uh, even with the guidance, because it will be a 19. 
Yeah. Oh, no, hold on. Wait, who? No, hold on. I can use my... Uh, Shabadoo? What's Shabadoo? I don't know. It's just... Oh, actually, no. If I, I use my intel intelligence modifier. Okay. Uh, so that will be... I am going to I am gonna shoot, but let me do my first do my recall knowledge. <laughs> will you give me an additional knowledge roll? Because I want to know about the goggles. Um, you haven't rolled on him yet, have you? I did. Oh, you Spider did. Climb. Spider climb. Oh, and you got that? Uh, yeah, that was on the spell that he cast. Yeah, so you can do it either way. Oh, yes. What is your... Uh, I mean, society. Society for the goggles? Well, you're doing for the goggles, or you're doing for... I want because he was using the goggles okay. for something. No, Arcana. Plus 10. Very cool goggles. You want to kill this guy and take him. Because... <laughs> I, do want to, I do want to take him. I want to kill per, him regardless. Once per day, you can use this ability with the goggles. Uh, they're called stock goggles. Greater stock. Oh, Whoa. greater anything is good. Once per day, uh, you can use this... Uh, you can activate them. And it gives you all around vision, a plus one item bonus to perception checks involving sight for one minute. And during this time, you can't be flanked. <gasps> wow. It's like Whoa. all around vision. Cool as hell. You can like curl around like a snail <laughs> and look all around. Can't be flanked. Okay. Uh, and Talitha will fire off with the, with the crossbow. And that is going to be a 21 to hit. That is a hit. Yes, oh, finally. Right. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and I get an extra D6 on this because of the strategic strike. Eight points of damage. All Eight right. points of Eight damage. Ten. Sunk a bolt. <laughs> uh, and then Talitha will Four. actually move. She'll move to the back of the room, the eastern side of the room, just to keep us spread out in case he gets his... Uh, she slides nimbly under the vast deference. <laughs> disaster's turn. I, uh, I slap it as I go through. <laughs> ah, says the tree. Uh, Asta Ugh. is going to uh, step her foot back, focusing, and then just shoot a phase bolt. Uh, she's holding her katana, but she just shoots it with her katana. Phase bolt? Uh, a little phase bolt, John. So let me roll. Nice. I love saying John. Nice. Oh. Uh, that's going to be. You've done irreparable harm. Oh, <laughs> Kate did in a text today. It was awesome. It was perfect. Use. Perfect. Yeah, use. Perfect. It's use. A great perfect word. Use I say on the group it all the time. Yeah. I loved seeing it in the text. It was yeah. so good. That was a good. One. Uh, Dirty twan zoni John. Miss. That's a miss. Wow. Oh, so it's. So you needed the guidance. Look at that. Yeah. How come nobody gave me guidance? <laughs> all right. So I miss on that, and then I'm gonna keep thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 It's ranged. It's wait. What, what? What did you do? Oh, you did a cantrip. Range camp. Yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. It would also add another half hour onto your turn. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and, no, it's true. Well, on the positive side, more opportunities to play the drop. Yeah, That's true. Nick is getting drop. A Nick is getting a lot of drop. Quality drop. No. No. Is that the natural of ones? On my foxfire. Uh, oh. I rolled no. a spell. Natural fumble. One. No, you didn't. Is it is it a just spell? Take it back. It's magical. Just take undo. Sounds... Control Z. It's magical. <laughs> yeah. I just want to make sure it is a spell because it's. It like... doesn't matter. It's if it's, it's magical, magical. Okay. It's magical. Okay. Magical fumble. Dude, give me that magical fumble. Okay, this one from Aaron in Knoxville. Aaron. Hey. hey. Aaron in Knoxville, Tennessee. Remove your mask. <gasps> A cold energy twists your magic, giving you visions or perhaps memories of a future that has yet to happen. Use this temporary insight to re-roll the d20 that just resulted in this fumble and take the new result. What? What, what a terrible That's fumble. That's amazing. Whoa, a okay. Bad fumble. He's making it up. He's, uh, he's making it up. Are this you lying? Bait and switch? No, just keep, uh, there's more. Okay. All right. But you see- Don't. Peak, you you jerk. see Asta as her tail crackles. Um, it's like overpoweringly crackling. Like it's too much. And it, she almost looks like all of her body is power crackling. Surge. She's having a power surge. Um, and she, in her mind, she sees like unbelievable like wealth in a, like a foyer, like marble stone floors and these forever high ceilings, like it's a dream, like the ceilings go on forever. And you hear someone walking in the distance and she like turns her head and then you see a forest and you see all these little like cutouts into the land, almost like uh, the Shire, like, like f mossy tops. And yeah. you see all these kitsune. The whole place is a kitsune like little cove. 
and they're laughing and they're like so happy and she double takes to look back at the marble floor and she looks back and then it's abandoned. There's no one in the cove and it's overgrown and there's nobody there and it's like gray. And now I'm going to re-roll. After you get this bottle cap. Oh! Oh, nice! nice. You see, Kate, that's how you get a bottle cap. You what? fumble. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I know why that was particularly I could cool. flip this table. <laughs> I would. It's, it's quite heavy. Lucky, lucky <laughs> number 13? Total? I'm, do I add? Yeah, yeah, just re-roll the results. Yeah. Oh, um, 6, 7, 18, 9, 20. Oh, not, dirty 20. Still a miss. Same Still a miss. Rolls. Okay. Then... Your next three d20 rolls, you roll twice and take the lower as these visions continue to assail you. Holy. Wow. Yeah. That's so three. Awesome. Disadvantage. Wow. Sorry, I said that was a bad fumble. That's a uh, that's great. A, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. She, okay. She, wow. I mean, Matt, she could have crit you and then had to, do, and then basically have to roll twice for three more d20 rolls. That is crazy. <laughs> Disadvantage I, I, for three that'd be awesome. good for awesome. D20 rolls. That's a really cool one. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Aaron, Aaron thank from you. Knoxville. Knoxville. Aaron, my Knoxville. second home, Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah. And for well, this whole time, maybe she's just crackling. Like she's still crackling. She looks like out of control. Yeah. It is Buggles' turn. Buggles. Oh man, this uh, is getting bad. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, once he's once, it, I think what next round? When yeah. yeah. Spells back? Next round's the last round. Uh, the aura shifts into a freezing particulate one, and boom, snaps his fingers, and it's another uh, frostbite. This one of actual frost. Please give me another fortitude save. Twenty-three. All right, basic save. God damn it. Uh, so it takes three points of damage, and I get another three uh, temporary hitch point, hit points. And with my third action, I he's going to reach out to Asta. The Buggles facet of him is going to reach out to Asta. So it's like, it's all right, and heal you for four points of, uh, of damage. Thank you. I was still down. That's extremely helpful. I'm almost back to full. Heal. Nice. Asta. End of round three. We go to the top of round four. There are only two more rounds where it is silenced. <laughs> Will you take him out oh. before he gets his Johns back? We'll find out next week. Oh, oh no! That's the line you want to go out on. That's the line you want to go out on. back. That's <laughs> back. Is the next episode going to be, going to be called How Climb Guy Got Get His, his Jaws Back? <laughs> 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 <laughs>